show I'm going to be doing first today. Um, now, can you tell me your name and birthday? Rose Boyle, January 24th, 1994. Okay. And that checks out with your bracelet. Um, now, can you tell me where we are? Hopi Sawyer College. And can you tell me why you're here for a checkup? And can you tell me the date? April 15th. Okay. So you're alert and oriented um, to person, place, time, and situation. Okay. So I'm going to do your vitals now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take your temperature orally. Okay. Can you open your mouth? Put this under your tongue and then close your mouth. saturation. Your oxygen saturation is 100, and um, your respiration is uh, 16. going to pump it up to see where I need to pump up into. Ready? Okay. It's here around 120, so I'm going to go until um, 140. Okay? Okay. So now I'm just going to listen to your calls. You ready? Mm-hmm. One twenty two over seventy eight. Within the now, are you experiencing any pain today? No. Okay. So, if you were to rate it on a scale of 0 to 10, where would it be? 0. So, now I'm going to take your apical pulse. Your pulse to be 66 beats per minute. Okay, um, so that's all the vital signs. Um, you are um, you're not on any oxygen. You're on room air. Um, and so now I'm gonna check your pulses. So your rate of 
radial pulse on plus two on your right arm. Then ulnar pulse is plus two. And then brachial pulse, plus two. And then it's on check in. Rapid pulse, plus two. I'm checking for uh, any jugular distension. And I can see the pulse as I should. Now I'm going to listen to a carotid to um, listen for any breweries. And I do not hear any breweries. So now I'm going to move over to here and get all my pulse is plus two. And your real pulse is plus two. You break your pulse plus two. Mm -hmm. Your current pulse is plus two. So your upper pulses, upper, upper extremities, um, and carotid are all bilaterally plus two. And now I'm going to check again for a bruise on this side. And I hear no worries, um, as I auscultated her um, carotid. And I can see her jugular, it's not distended, and I can see the pulsation as I should. So now I'm looking at her hair, um, looking for any lumps, lesions, um, back of her head for pressure ulcer, um, also any mites and lice which I don't see. Her hair seems to be thick, curly, brown, and healthy. Um, so now I'm going to be uh, just looking at her skin and her arms. So as I'm palpating, do you feel any pain? No. Okay. And your color seems to be good within baseline. Um, no pallor or cyanotic. Her temperature is within baseline. Her fingers are symmetrical and aligned. Um, her capillary refill is less than three seconds. Her capillary refill on that arm is less than three seconds. Um, so now I'm going to check for a trigger. And there's no tensing um, period. And no tensing. And checking again up here. And it's pretty elastic. and um, there's no tensing. Um, so, do you have any trouble with your any joint pain here, any muscle pain up here? No. Can you bend your elbow? Okay. Can you raise your arm up? Okay, good. Can you raise it to the side? Good. Alright, so can you roll your wrist? Okay, good. And can you squeeze my hand? Can you press up? Can you press down? And we're going to do the same for this arm. So, again, no lesions, no lumps, no bumps. Um, nothing, no looks abnormal. Her color looks good. Her, her um, capillary refill, as I said before, is less than three seconds. Um, and no rash, no pressure ulcers are apparent. Um, and her temperature is warm in baseline. Can you raise your arm above your head? And then to the side. Good. Now can you bring your elbow up? And can you roll your wrist? Okay. Can you grab my hand? And can you press up? And can you press down? Good. All right. So that's all good. Um, and now I'm going to check your legs. So I'll just go on this side. <laughs> So I'm checking her legs for any um, lesions, pressure ulcers, um, lumps, bumps, abnormalities, um, temperature, her temperature is warm and baseline. Um, any painful tenderness? Yeah. Okay. And your knees good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And again with her ankles and her feet, her tattoos, she has tattoos and they 
seeing them tagged on both feet and the one on her um, neck as well. And her piercings also seem to be intact and um, not uh, infected whatsoever. They don't seem to be have any drainage and they're not inflamed. Um, so again, no edema um, on this leg either as I'm palpating. Is there any pain? No? Okay. And your knees, they seem to be pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, no edema on the feet. Um, they're both symmetrical. They're warm with a baseline. Um, no pressure ulcers, no moisture. Um, not excessively dry. Her color's good. Um, and her toes as well are with a baseline for temperature and color. Um, so I'm going to check her femoral pulse. I normally would take um, take this skin to skin, but because for movie purposes, um, that won't be happening. But um, so plus two and plus two and. I can't find her top tail on that one. Like faintly on that one, but I'm just gonna go down and check her um, uh, posterior tibialis. And that's a plus two. And again, plus two. So these are bilaterally plus two. Now her anterior Dorsalis pedis, um, that's a plus two, and the other one's plus two, so they're bilaterally plus two. Her capillary refill on her left toe is um, less than three seconds, and or her right toe and her left toe is as well as less than three seconds. So there doesn't seem to any, be any abnormalities. Um, on her lower extremities. Um, can you uh, push against my hand? Okay, can you push it up without your knee? Good. And push down and push up. Good. And so now can you rotate your ankles? Good. And we're checking her range of motion here um, and how she can extend and um, flex. Uh, flex her um, ankles, and I did that before. Um, I did also did the range of motion when I asked her to raise her arms and to the side, and also roll her um, wrists as well. Um, so now I'm gonna check not only her uh, muscle tone, but I'm also gonna check her range of motion for her knee and her hips as I'm about to do what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna raise your knee up like that, and then again, and then all the way up, and then to the side. Good. And that, and that, and totally up, and to the side. Good. Good. Okay. So that seems within range. Her muscle tone seems to be good. Uh, I would say about a plus five. Um, and her range of motion is full and seems to be really, really good. So, um, and again, as I expect, her skin is intact and seems to be healthy and perfused well. Um, her, again, her temperature and things good. Um, so, I'm going to be uh, doing couple other assessments on her. Um, I'm going to start by uh, well we'll do the neuro, neuro assessment first. So we're going to assess the cranial nerves first. Um, so the first cranial nerve is olfactory and that's smell. So can you close your eyes? Yeah. All right. Um, what can you smell? Anything else? Yeah. What can you smell? Anything else? Yeah. Okay, good. And can you tell me what this is? Coffee. Okay. And can you tell me what this is? 
Okay. All right. So that's good. Very well. Um, now, cranial nerve two is optics, so that's vision. Um, can you read that clock right there? So it says three o'clock. Okay. Um, so your vision seems good because it is three o'clock. <laughs> and that clock's pretty far away. Um, so now I'm going to be testing cranial nerve three, four, and six. Cranial nerve three is um, uh, ocular motor. Cranial nerve four is trochlear, and cranial nerve six is abducens. So um, ocular motor is where I'm going to be testing your pupils as I'm shining light in her eyes, looking for accommodation and constriction um, when I shine her light, shine the light into her eye, each eye. Um, and then cranial nerve four. Um, test for movement of the eye up and down. So I'll be doing cardinal signs for that, um, as well as I'll be doing cardinal signs for um, abducens, um, which checks for up and or lateral lateral eye movement. Um, so first we're gonna do the pupils. So can you look at my forehead? And her pupils seem to be about a four right now. Okay, so just keep looking at my forehead and I'm going to shine a light in your eyes. Okay? Okay. Good. And um, the four turn, or her pupils turn from a four into a two, which is normal. And um, she, her eyes accommodated and constructed um, in the light as they should. So, sorry about that. <laughs> so now I'm going to, um, do you need a second? Okay. So now I want you to, don't move your head, um, but look and um, follow my finger with your eyes. And again, um, just watch my finger. Good. Very good. Okay, can you touch your um, finger to your nose and then my finger? And then now the other hand. Okay, good. Right. So now we're going to test um, the cranial nerve 5, which is trigeminal. And that's, um, so that's the, the jaw. Um, so I need you to clench your jaw, and I'm just going to check for sy symmetry and see if I can, if um, I'll be able to separate it, which I probably shouldn't. Okay. It's symmetrical, and I cannot separate your jaw. Um, cranial nerve seven is facial, so that's facial expression. So can you puff your cheeks? Good. That's symmetrical. Can you smile? Symmetrical and raise your eyebrows. Good. Everything is symmetrical. That should be good. Cranial nerve eight is acoustic, um, and that's uh, hearing and balance. We're not going to do balance for this movie, but we are going to do hearing. So, can you hear this? Yes. And how about this? Yes. Good. And cranial nerve nine is glossopharyngeal. And um, cranial nerve 10 is the vagus nerve. Um, so both of these have to deal with swallowing and speaking and gag reflex. So um, just gonna feel and um, can you swallow? Okay. And do you have any trouble swallowing your food? Do you have any trouble speaking? Has your voice changed recently? No. Okay. Right. And. Um, I'm also going to check to see um, your uvula. So uh, I, I'm going to have you open your mouth and stick out your tongue and say, ah. Okay. Ready? Ah. Uh, so her uvula, as she said, ah, uh, her uvula went up, and then, um, which is good. Um, so then cranial nerve 11 is spinal accessory. So I'm going to have you 
um, lift your shoulders, shrug your shoulders. Good. Can you um, move my hand with your fingers? Good. And now lift. Good. Now can you um, close your eyes? Okay. Now tell me when I'm touching your face. Cheek. Cheek. Chin. Now, um, I'm going to have you stick out your tongue. Okay. So I was just testing cranial nerve um, number 12, and I had her stick out her tongue, and I looked for um, tremors, and that it came out midline, and it did. So that never seems to be good. Um, so now I'm going to have you um, take your, um, your heel and... Uh, uh, touch your knee and then slide it down. Good. And I'm gonna do another one. Good. Again. And um, so now I'm going to have you close your eyes again and tell me what I'm gonna oops, separate your hands. Um, tell me what what I'm touching and when. Okay. My foot. My hand. My hand. Good. My foot. Good. And that was t um, checking for sensory, uh, not only neuromuscular, but also, or um, neuro, but uh, also checking for sensation, perfusion of um, cardiovascular. Um, okay, so now I'm going to test your sharp and dull um, sensory. Okay. So I'm going to have you close your eyes again. Okay. And I want you to tell me what if I'm, uh, if the pressure is sharp or dull. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Sharp or dull? Dull. Sharp. Sharp or dull? Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp or dull? Dull. Sharp or dull? Dull. Sharp or dull? Sharp. Sharp or dull? Sharp or Sharp. Now I'm going to test your two point discrimination. Okay. Um, so you can straighten out your arms. And I'm going to have two fingers and I'm going to move them closely. And then I want you to tell me when only one finger is touching. Okay? One. <laughs> do you want to do that one again? Yeah. One. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. So now, um, now I'm gonna have you grasp my hand. Can you ready to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so can you touch your each finger with your thumb? Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so, okay. Can you uh, hold out your hand? All right. Can you tell me what number I'm writing on your palm? Mm -hmm. Three. Good. And I'm going to put something in your hand, and I want, it, I want you to tell me what it is. Rubber band? Yes. Good. All right. So now we're going to move on to another segment. Um, so we're going to do your um, cardiovascular assessment. Okay. So um, 
We already checked your temperature of your extremities, and they're warm and within base limit. Um, and your capillary refill ends um, less than three seconds on uh, bilaterally your hands and bilaterally your feet as well. Um, do you feel any tingling or um, do you even have any problem um, with sensory when I was touching your feet and your hands with your cotton ball? So that's all good. Um, there's no cyanosis, no pallor. Seems like everything's perfusing pretty well. Um, so now I'm just going to listen to your heart. Um, I'm first going to listen with my diaphragm and then I'm going to turn it around to listen with my bow. Um, so we're going to be listening to um, her aortic area, which is second intercostal down, um, left sternal border, right sternal border, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> and um, then the uh, pulmonic area, which is uh, left sternal border, second intercostal down, um, then her herbs point, which is third intercostal down, left sternal border, um, and then tricuspid area, which is um, fifth intercostal, left sternum border, and then her mitral area, which is fifth intercostal midclavicular line on the left side. So a bit further away from the tricuspid, but in the same intercostal. So first I'm gonna listen with my diaphragm and listen to your heart, okay? Okay, all right. So do you wanna sit up and kind of turn that way? Okay. That's um, atrial area, aortic area. Now this is a pulmonic area. Now, herbs point. That's intercostal. And that's this is the tricuspid area, which is right next to the sternum. And then a little over to the mitral area. This is where I'm also going to take her um, aortic pulse. Or, I'm sorry, the apical pulse. That seems to be plus two. Um, and S1 seems regular um, as well as S2. Your heart rate seems even, regular, no murmurs, so no irregular irregularities um, and no extra heart sounds. So I'm now going to listen with the same areas with my gut. The tricuspid area. This third tricuspid. And this fifth tricuspid area. And move it over to the mitral area. Again, um, that sounds very good. Um, S1 and S2 seem to be regular. Um, and even and pretty pretty good. Um, and I already listened to your Corona pulse, and they seemed pretty good as well. Um, so now we're gonna do a respiratory assessment on you. Um, if you just want to sit on the edge of the bed, that's okay. So right now, um, I'm going to be checking for her midline of her trachea, which she has, which is good. 
and I'm checking for crepitus, any lumps, um, lesions, rashes, temperature, it's warm, baseline, any tenderness, you feel like any tenderness? Yeah. And any abnormalities, um, really, that's what I'm always looking for. Um, I'm always looking at color, um, lesions, texture, which is smooth, and um, brown, which is good. So, eyes are palpating. She doesn't seem to have any tenderness. Yeah. So, I'm also going to do the back. Well, I'll do the back after. So, um, now I'm just going to be palpating. So now I'm going to listen to her lungs with just my diaphragm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Each time I touch your, um, touch you with my diaphragm, I want you to um, breathe in and out deeply through your nose, or in through your nose and up through your mouth. Okay. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to have you face that way. Okay. And, um, again, we're going to, I'm going to palpate her uh, back and her lungs areas to, um, make sure that there's no lumps, um, inspect the skin, um, color, texture, turgor again, no tenting. Crepitus, anything that would alarm me. Um, edema, cyanosis, anything. Um, no rashes, everything seems to be baseline and she seems to be good. Um, so now I'm going to do percussion.
So, um, as as I did in the front, um, as I heard in the front, um, I heard uh, resonance, which is good. Um, and I didn't hear anything at all. So now I'm going to be listening to her breath sound. Um, so again, I want you to um, breathe in and out deeply, in through your nose and out through your mouth slowly every time I'm touching you with my breath. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Everything seems to be fine. Um, so now I'm going to check for tactile thermos. Um, so each time I touch you, I want you to say 99. 99. check for symmetrical expansion of the lungs, okay? okay. Alright. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Um, so she had symmetrical expansion of her lungs, both lungs. Um, so now I'm going to be checking for um, kidney um, inflammation. Um, so now um, I'm going to uh, so I'm going to like do a little tap with my fist um, on my hand and if you feel any pain tell me okay ready yep. abdominal assessment. So I'm going to inspect her abdominal first. Um, her contour is flat. Um, and I may, can you uh, hold your breath for a second? I'm able to see slight palpation as I should, or um, slight pulsation as I should. Um, her, she is symmetrical, um, doesn't seem to be swollen anywhere. Her umbilicus is symmetrical. Um, each quadrant seems to look intact. There's no lesions, no pressure ulcers. Um, nothing abnormal that I can see. She has a piercing on her umbilicus, and it doesn't seem to be infl inflamed or have any drainage. Um, so that looks good. Um, and she also, her color is um, looks good, and baseline. So now, we're going to listen to her stomach. Um, so first I'm going to start with her uh, right lower quadrant and move clockwise. So right lower quadrant. Move her up. Um, upper right quadrant. The left upper quadrant and her left lower quadrant. Good. So 
So um, her uh, abdomen, um, her bowel sounds seem really good. Um, they're not hypo or hyperactive. Um, and you know, I was able to hear some in each um, quadrant. Um, and now I'm going to be percussing. So I'm going to do it in a clockwise manner. Um, so tell me if any of this hurts. Um, that all sounded tympanic, so that is normal baseline of what I should be hearing. Did that hurt at all? So now I am going to be lightly palpating. Um, just trying. So the temperature of her abdomen seems good for the baseline warm. Her color seems to be baseline um, for this particular individual. Um, I'm not feeling any abnormalities right now. Are you feeling any tenderness as I'm doing this? Okay. Now I'm going to um, palpate deeply. So tell me if this hurts. Did we start yeah. Okay, so that seems good. Um, I didn't find any abnormalities. Um, again, she seems pretty good. Um, so now um, I'm going to think if I missed anything. Um, I'm not going to do all the rest. Um, did I have you squeeze my hand? Okay. Um, all right, I think that's it. All right. Thank you.